Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another weekly video. Awesome. Alright, so I've got just an absolute pile of stuff here um, for this week. It was a great week for Diecast. Fantastic week indeed. And um, I don't know man, we may have to split this one up into a multi-part video. We'll see how this goes. Um, we'll start it in the traditional format where I show you everything really quick. And then we'll look at some stuff close up in the second half. And then we might have a, some sort of an addendum um, video added on for some of the other stuff. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. All right. So <clears throat> anyway, uh, okay. So starting off, I did finish a custom this week. And I posted pictures to my Instagram on it. So this is a Plymouth. I think this is actually listed as a Plymouth Bell. Or it is a Fury. Uh, Plymouth Fury. So this is from um, this was actually a treasure hunt. This was sent to me from the Hot Wheels Hunter on YouTube uh, to put headlights in it, and I did that. I'll quickly turn it on here. So there are the headlights. If you want to see some cool pictures of it, check out my Instagram for some more detailed photos. Threw some real riders on there. This thing rolls really nice, um, and the lights turned out really really good. I will show that close up in the second half of this video so we'll take a look at that um let's see my buddy jeremy bolter so i went to a toy show today and, and uh saw a bunch of local folk um from my uh area that collect die cast and i got a bunch of stuff so this is kind of spread throughout here so we'll kind of take a look at that in phases but um he hooked me up with a full set of the chevy trucks um, these full sets never really hit my Walmart in my area. Um, so, hooked me up with a full set of those. He also gave me a couple of extra of the, uh, the 83 uh, Chevy Silverado. So, thank you very much, Jeremy Bolter, for that. Charged me retail price for them. I really appreciate it, bud. Um, those we probably won't look at in the second half of the video. Um, I might add them on to my little Hot Wheels addendum video. We'll see what happens here. Um, all right, so then... Earlier in the week, uh, my buddy Joe, who's a local friend of mine, um, had a bunch of Johnny Lightning Firebirds, and they're they're all loose. They're in here. We're gonna take a look at these in the second uh, half of the video. So those, and then a couple of Tamikas. There's four Tamika like pocket cars. There's a Matchbox in here. We'll take a look at, and then one of the the really cool items that's in here, if I can get it out, is this. Ferrari 599XX super sweet car uh, always wanted one of these I'm very happy to finally have one thank you Joe he um, we did a little trade for this and then plus cat I paid him cash for the other stuff so I'm gonna leave that out but we are gonna look at that in the second half of the video next to the regular one as well as all those firebirds so we got that to look at um, this we won't take too much time looking at this uh, my buddy Shresh picked up a bunch of these from Target. These are Redliners that were on clearance for, it looks like a buck 81. They might have even ended up being cheaper than that, but you can't beat that price for some real rider tires. There's like, um, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, whoa, seven, eight, nine, ten cars. So, ten sets of real riders here. Can't beat that for like a buck 50 or a buck 81 a piece. That's fantastic. Thanks, Suresh, for picking those up for me. Um, Suresh also, we made a quick little trade. Um, well, this he just gave me to complete my holiday set of Beatles. So now I actually do have it complete, I believe. So there's a blue one. Um, I've got the green one, the white one, and the red one. And now I've got the blue one. So we will open up this in the second half of the video. We'll take a look at that. And maybe I'll pull out the other three just so you can see them all. And then... Um, we also did a little trade for this. This is a Mystery Machine Super. Um, I already had this Super, but since I am now a loose collector and he had the only Super he had had this creased card, I was like, yeah, sure, man, I'll just swap you out. No big deal. You know, I'm going to open it anyway, so I'll give you the one on the good card since you want to keep it carded. So we did that little swap. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Let's see here. All right, so that was with Shresh. So we met up with him there at uh, 
the toy store today. And then um, my buddy Todd had some stuff for me. Well, I guess we'll start out with this. First of all, he went to Walmart last night. I wasn't able to go. I knew Auto Road was hitting at a Walmart near me. And um, I wasn't able to go. He ended up going and found this right on the pegs. Boom! Ultra Red Wagon. And he just gave it to me. Because he's crazy Todd. So that is fantastic. Thank you very much, bud. I'm so glad to have this in the collection. Um, I'm going to be opening up this in the second half of this video. Um, as well as all this other stuff that he hooked me up with. He was at the Toy Shack in Vegas. Um, grabbed one of these. This green light uh, convention g20 vans we're gonna open up that um this was also from the toy shack uh this was the only version of this i'm actually missing this flying customs so this porsche 935 i now have all the versions of these this was the last one i was missing it's not a terribly expensive one to get i think he got paid like four bucks or some 450 or something for this so glad to have it and let's see here a couple of johnny lightnings that he picked up for me Cadillac, Carmen Ghia. So we'll open up those two. That wasn't from the Toy Shack. That was from a store earlier. And then this was from a box that he got in the mail with a bunch of stuff from a hobby dealer. Uh, it's this Tuner Crate Automotive Greenlight uh, 2016 GTR R35. So we're going to open up that and take a look at that one. Definitely an R35 I didn't have, so we'll pop that open. Um, let's see here. I found this at Walmart this M2 model kit I think I'm gonna open it up and put it together obviously not in this video I may do a separate video on that you know I'm not a big fan of an M2 you guys know that um, but I might go ahead and attempt putting this together on camera just to see how much of a struggle it is. I put together one model kit before and it did not really go so well. So I'm going to try this one again. This shouldn't be that difficult, right? I mean, they just shouldn't, but the pieces tend to not fit well, you know, really well together and all of that. So whatever. All right. So there's that. Um, this is another, this was an eBay find actually, but I found this on eBay because Todd had shown me a picture of one of these from the toy shack. And then I looked it up on eBay. I wanted one for myself. So I picked one up. So, I got this for like $7.50 ship, which is a good deal. This is a Racing Champions Chevy van. And the reason why I really wanted it was see the town there? Appleton, Wisconsin Fire Department. Yeah, that's my hometown. So, I had to pick that up. It's got the old City of Appleton logo on there and stuff. I don't think they still use that logo, but super awesome find. So, I'm going to open up that in the second half of the video. Um, <clears throat> and then, we got some Plymouth series to look at okay so this is an mj exclusive just got this in the mail today this came from um surplus goodies thank you very much uh for, for selling me this thing uh straight directly through instagram so that was pretty awesome and uh so shout out to them and then um at the toy show today i only picked up two things and both of them were plymouth well plymouth belvedere's one says Plymouth Fury, one says Plymouth Belvedere, but it's the same car. And uh, so this one right here that looks more like Christine. So there's that. These are Ertl American Muscle. Really cool to get that. So that was five bucks. And then this right here was also five bucks. Ertl American Muscle. And it's just that same casting basically in a different color. Uh, these are kind of a crapshoot because uh, some of these aren't made super well and you can get like ones with crumbly metal parts and stuff so when we open these we'll find out if i got good ones or not so good ones so there's that all right so that is it for like toy show i only found those two things at the toy show that was it that's all i found there there really wasn't much the, the best stuff i got from todd and then i got some stuff from the from Shresh and that was it so so there's that all right so now one other little store find thing and i think i'll just open up all these in a separate video is what I'm thinking right now because this stuff is going to definitely be enough for the second half. I think we'll just open up all this new Matchbox and Hot Wheels in a second, in a different video. Uh, but picked up these. We'll just show them real quick. Honda Civic, Jeep Wagoneer. Picked up the van, the Gia. Uh, what, what the heck is that thing? The Plymouth PC sedan. 
picked up those three in boxes. And then on cards, we got the Beetle, Van, um, what is it, a Ford Explorer, Ford Expedition, uh, the Honda Motorcycle, uh, the Land Rover 90, and then that's it for Matchbox. So I picked those up. And then the new Hot Wheels that are out are H Case Hot Wheels. And we got uh, the McLaren P1, Ford Raptor. This would have been the Super right here, the Camaro, but did not find it. And a lot of people are finding the tuned Mustang in the H cases anyway, but did not find that, locate that Super, but found a bunch of those regulars, just picked up one. Uh, this cool new Porsche uh, 918 Spider casting, that's awesome. And then got the two Skylines, of course, and another new casting, the McLaren 720S, right there, the two Countach, and then the Honda City Turbo. All right, so that's everything I picked up this week. A uh, bunch of stuff. I think what we'll do, we're gonna flip the camera around, we're gonna go through a bunch of this stuff, if it feels like I have time, we'll open up these, all these Hot Wheels and Matchbox. If not, um, we'll just make a separate video for those, a little addendum to the weekly video. That's all I got. So I don't want to make these videos like 40,000 minutes long. So that might be kind of the trend going forward. We'll see what happens. All right, so thank you very much. Let's uh, flip her around. All right, let's start this video by taking a quick look at this super treasure hunt Ferrari 599XX next to the regular counterpart. Um, this is just a fantastic super. This marked the last year of Ferrari licensing for Hot Wheels uh, before they lost it. So this is the super right here. This is the mainline version and the mainline is not too shabby either. Um, nice metal flake, silver, grayish kind of. And then the super is just black. Specter Flame, Red Stripes, TH Logo, Rubber Tires with Tread, Metal Body, Plastic Base, like anything else, any other Super, <clears throat> and just looks great. So I'm really happy to add this one to my collection. This is one I've been wanting for such a long time, and the prices on it have totally um, skyrocketed from when they originally were out and just kind of held at a high level for a long time. Um, so thanks, Joe, for making that trade for me. That was uh, fantastic. Thank you very, very much. So there is those two cars. Quick. Um, let's see. Secondly, let's take a look. Let's go. Let's go Plymouth right away. All right. So here's this one. This is the custom that I made for Hot, uh, the Hot Wheels Hunter. Um, <clears throat> He's Martin on Instagram, Martin something. Anyway, um, he sent me this card to go ahead and put lights in, and I did. Let's just take a quick look at uh, how they turned out. There's that. Um, it's not going to really do it justice unless we turn off some lights probably here. So, again, I took some better pictures of this on my Instagram. But I think these turned out really, really well. Um, the car rolls really well. You can't really see any of the wiring or anything in here. I think I did a pretty good job of hiding it. Uh, your seats are still intact. If you look in through the windshield, you can kind of see the battery holder, or you can kind of see the battery holder in there. Um, but really cool. It's uh, just buttoned down, screwed together. So I think he's gonna like it. <clears throat> I think I did a pretty decent job on it. So uh, yeah. So thanks for giving me the challenge to do that. That was a fun one to do. Let's go ahead and turn the lights off. And then sticking with uh, Plymouths, let's go right into um, this guy right here. This is the Christine Mio exclusive with a chrome uh, red paint job. So it's almost like a Spectra Flame like you'd find in an RLC car. Uh, it's gonna be cool to see this loose. It is one of 3,600. There it is. Take a look. You can take a look at the back of the card. MJ Toys. That's pretty cool right there. Uh, the Ultra Red of this looks absolutely crazy. Um, obviously, I don't have it, otherwise, I'd show it to you. But um, it's one, of course, I'm going to have to get, but eventually. But let's pull this out here. So there it is. So yeah, it's definitely like an RLC, like Spectra Flame style paint job. Um, very, very close to to how those look. A really cool red. Um, of course, you got the blacked out windows. 
Um, white wall tires, all metal construction. Of course, this auto world does it. Very heavy piece. Um, you get this acrylic case, which is kind of cool. The chrome red pristine. <clears throat> now, they've done quite a few versions of this car. My favorite is still the dirty version. Is, I think, the coolest one. But uh, this one is pretty cool as well. Let's see if we can go ahead and get this hood open without doing any damage. Ooh, it's tight on this one. Um, these are kind of pricey too. These are more expensive than your regular Auto World, and I'm just not going to try to get that hood open. I'm just not going to do it. Um, this thing is flawless as it sits, and I want to keep it that way. So don't really need to open the hood unless maybe. Ah, come on. No, it, it, it's really tight, and I'm just not going to do it. So, <clears throat> there it is. Pretty cool. Really cool little car. Thought about putting lights, not in one of, not in this version, but in the, the standard pristine version. Maybe putting lights in one of those. That might be cool. I think this chrome paint job turned out really cool. It'd be nice to see. It'd be cool to see some other Auto World cars like that. Why not? Uh, so, there's that. And then sticking with this. So, here's the Plymouth Belvedere. This is an Ertl casting. <clears throat> These Ertl Vintage American Muscles are really cool cars if you can get your hands on them for cheap. Um, this was five bucks and it looks like it's well worth it. There's no issues with it. Trunk closes, hood closes. You get very detailed base on these cars. These are actually separate plastic pieces and stuff that hide the screws. Um, this tire's a little wonky, but it looks like it's fixable. Um, really cool, of course, opening hood. Uh, these all have uh, lensed detail for the headlights. And I believe also for the taillights. Yep, also for the taillights. So really cool piece. Um, <clears throat> sitting next to this. Very, very similar, of course. The size is right on. So 164 scale. You know, Auto World claims to be 164 scale, accurately scaled. And Ertl, I don't know if these guys do. It does say 164 scale on the package. So I'm guessing... These are accurately scaled. This one even has mirrors too. Little mirrors, those are probably pretty fragile. Hood opens really easily on this. Uh, the trunk opens very easily too, and you got a spare tire in the back. That's pretty awesome. And pretty cool car. And that's really nice. I'm glad to add this to my Ertl collection. I've got, I'm starting to get quite a few of them. <clears throat> and just gradually pick them up. So when I find them, they're not too easy to find, you know, like locally and stuff. Maybe you're not going to be able to find them. But eBay, there's a lot on there. But usually they want a little too much for it than I'm willing to pay for them. But uh, really cool to add those. And then one more. This is also the same casting as that other one. This is just in a different package. 164 scale limited edition. This is in like a... <clears throat> actually, Auto World did them this color too. I don't have it handy, so I'm not going to pull it out just for time's sake. But take a look at this real quick get this out it's kind of a kind of a neat little mirrored case and here's the car same deal okay hood closed nice no weird oxidation going oh just a little weird thing going on there okay so we got some sort of weird paint flaw it almost looks like super glue and it's like a fingerprint of super glue is on here oh well, these also have these little fender covers too which is interesting that's not on this other one so look at that that's a difference uh see again these are risky these are risky cars i'm not gonna lie there's a, there's they're bound to have some issues sometimes and this there's definitely an issue with that fender i don't know what happened to that but um it's definitely definitely something's wrong with it uh, but it will display nice this way anyway and it's a good another example of the car and i only paid five bucks for it so there it is all right so there's that moving on because we got to move quickly now i mean we got lots of stuff yet to show you let's open up this guy real quick the moby dick porsche 935 cool car not going to spend a lot of time on it this is metal body metal base this was in the uh flying custom series i believe it was out like 2013 so pretty cool love this casting totally dig it now I have every version of it, so I'm happy to have it. Uh, <clears throat> there's that. Oh, sticking with Auto World, we might as well crack this right away, huh? Ultra Red Wagon. 
Awesome. I do have the other two versions of this. We'll pull them out and for sake of time. We're not going to. That came open way easy. And here it is. <clears throat> so it's your basic ultra red format. We got ultra red um, paint. This one's got the wood paneling on it. No white base. So these looks like this 2018 release one of Auto World does not have that white base characteristic that the other ones did. This one also has a black interior. And I believe, yeah, the, the regular blue one also had a black interior. But really cool car. I think I'm caught up on this casting. I think I have all the ultra reds of it. I'm pretty sure I do. So there is that one to add to the collection. And go ahead and just put it right back for now. <clears throat> so there's that. Um, why not open up a super quick mystery machine? I didn't pull out the regular one. I apologize for this, but open her up. <clears throat> Pretty awesome. It's a van, so I got to have one in the collection, right? Just another super mystery machine. Pretty cool. You guys have all seen this. This is older. <clears throat> Not older now. This is what, 2017 mainline? I think it was like B case or something. So pretty cool to have that one loose. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Carmen Ghia, Johnny Lightning. Uh, this is from 2017 Classic Gold Release 3. So I got two cars, I think, from that same release. We got this Carmen Ghia, and then we also have the uh, 1959 Cadillac Eldorado. These are both limited to 2,000 pieces. Uh, these are both version B of this release. So there it is. Pretty cool. Interior looks good. This caddy looks good. Carmen Ghia looks good too. Looks nice and black. I love those uh, chromed hub wheels. I think those look great. Um, so that's really cool. This car, casting is obviously bigger than 164 scale. The actual car is quite tiny. Um, so there's a quick look at those two. We still got kind of a ton of stuff to look at here. So <clears throat> Chevy G20 van, 2012 Super Convention. Um, what were these limited to? Does it say? I thought it did somewhere around here. Um, but it looks like there's a green light convention, Hall of Fame dinner ceremony, die cast Uno, Are you okay party. Looks like it would have been a fun time. Oh, Mike Zarnock. Hmm. I don't know. Was this super convention? So this must have been like a convention for like all die cast. I have no idea. Uh, this one, is it numbered on the bottom? Oh, it's number 132. It's pretty low. So there's the 2012 Super Convention G20 van. Um, this one, if you look at it on eBay, it's actually kind of expensive. This was 15 bucks that he got it at the Toy Shack. People ask way too much for these things sometimes, though. And if you look at sold listings, I think you get one like a lot closer, like more like $20 or something like that. You just got to wait for one to come up at a cheap price if you want one. I collect this casting from Greenlight, so this is just one I had to have. So awesome to have it <clears throat> so there's that um then we got this guy right here holiday rods vw beetle thank you Shiresh, for this one this completes my set <clears throat> um, in blue like a baby blue and just real quickly just to see the others this is the green one this is the red one and this is the white and red one so that is my complete set of four the VW Bug is one of those castings that I collect, one of those castings I will pick up any variation that I do not have. So now I have a full set of these holiday rods, which is awesome. So that's one little thing off the list. Um, really cool little piece. Love this old school Larry Wood uh, VW Bug casting. I think it's a great one. So glad to have it. And let's see here. Next up, we got this 2016 Nissan GTR R35. Pretty cool. Limited edition, does this have a number, how many of these were made? I don't know, it's an MJ exclusive it looks like, it's an MJ Toys, it says on the back. It doesn't say it right on the front, so this is from Tuner Crate, which 
which I don't know anything about, guys, so I apologize. This is number 1,654. So it looks like there's definitely under 10,000 because there's not enough digits for that, um, which is common for an MJ exclusive to be under that amount. Um, really cool version of this, actually. Um, I like it quite a bit. I like the carbon fiber um, tampo action that you get on the back of the car. Let's see if I can get... Uh, the wheels are kind of weird. Um, how they have like a white liner. I don't know if that's supposed to be there or what that is. Uh, but tread detail is pretty good. And then um, the rear detail is pretty good. Primal 2, tuner crate. But this is like a carbon fiber look to it. I think it's uh, they did a pretty good job with that. So um, these cars are really are hit or miss. I think this is a good one though. No, no real stance issue to it. I think it looks pretty good. So thank you, Todd, for that. Uh, let's see here. Next up, we got this. This is the Appleton, Wisconsin Fire Department Chevy van. And yeah, I remember our fire trucks actually used to be that neon yellow color. So this is a racing champions. Um, I found another one, another one online that's um, Grand Chute Police Department, I think. Definitely gonna have to get that one. It's a Bronco. And Grand Chute is like just a hop, skip, and a jump from where I am at. So definitely we'll have to get it. So this is pretty cool. It's got the Appleton logo right there, fire prevention. Um, I don't exactly remember these vans. Uh, they would have been from probably the early 80s or something that they would have drove these. Uh, it's number 1196. I don't know if they really have numbers. If these are numbered castings. Uh, they are limited edition all right it says limited edition oh yeah one of 9999 so there's quite a few of these out there not a rare piece by any means but a very very cool one for me um so really cool to get that that is that is awesome so oh uh, and that yeah the back opens on these um which again i don't think i'm gonna do it because you never know how they're gonna close especially with these uh racing champions ones but anyway, the back should open out like that, and I'm just not going to do it. But really cool casting, rubber tires, got metal base, metal body, heavy little thing. So that is awesome, 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 awesome. <clears throat> All right, so that's it for like carded stuff. Now I got his loose stuff, and we're going to do Trans Ams. Now this is uh, Trans Ams that I got from my buddy Joe, along with that Ferrari 599XX Super, starting with this one here in blue these are all johnny lightning so there's that one 1979 pontiac trans am this one has a metal base metal body opening hood this one has plastic tires there is a variation i believe of some of these i think including this one that that have rubber tires so i will still be after those uh, let's see here then this one this one it's pretty cool it's got a yeah, a couple of tampo rubs on the side there. Um, this should also be the same year. 79. Yeah, metal metal body, metal base. Um, this one's like identical to that um, anniversary Trans Am that's coming out, that came out with green light, I believe. Uh, same exact like tampo scheme and everything. Pretty much identical to this. So that'll be cool. I'll have to pick that one up. That's going to be awesome. So there is that guy. Uh, then we got... This one here, 73. This one has a plastic base. I think that's plastic or is that metal? No, nope, that is metal. So metal base, plastic tires. <clears throat> so there's that. A while back, I got the white lightning of that from uh, my buddy Travis at Heavy Metal 164. So it's got a white base and white interior. He hooked me up with that. Here's the regular version, black interior, black base. Not a real fan of the white lightnings like this. I mean, like, I, I wish they were a little less subtle, but um, still pretty cool to have both versions. So that's that's pretty awesome. Um, then we got this one here. This one's a this one is also a metal base. Another Trans Am, same year. <clears throat> um, pretty cool. This one's black and gold. So another uh, Johnny Lightning Trans Am off of the list. Love checking these off. And then this one here, another one that I didn't have. This is a 72. This one also, I believe there is a rubber tire version of this one out there. I don't have it. 
so I'll be wanting it. Cool little Trans Am. Dig it. There's that. And let's see here. Then let's do this one, the convertible. Pretty cool. So all these class castings I pretty much collect. This is the 69 convertible. This one's got plastic tires as well, but metal body, metal base. And this nice color orange. Uh, this one here is the oddball kind of one. This was the original, I think, Firebird casting from Johnny Lightning. Um, not a huge fan of it. It's a 69 Firebird. Um, this one is actually a KB Toys exclusive, though, this color. So glad to check that one off the list. Out of all of them, that'd probably be the toughest one to get. So I'm glad I have it. <clears throat> There's that one. Uh, this one is really cool. This is the Holiday one. 2001 Christmas car. So it is chrome gold and looks really nice. This is what a 68 Firebird. Yeah. And I really dig it. That's awesome in that chrome gold. And then another 68. This one here. I think it's either 68 or 67, 68. And like this cream color. Looks a lot better than the Racing Champions casting in my opinion. I do really like this gold one with the rubber tires. That's pretty cool. I think there actually might be a rubber tire version of this one, too. And that's the thing with Johnny Lightning. He did a lot of them that had two different versions, a rubber tire one and a plastic tire one. Uh, so that's it for the Trans Ams. He also gave me a couple of dyed cars. This is a Trans Am, and then this is a Beetle. So he dyed these with right dye uh, just to show me that and uh, just hooked me up with these little two freebies. So that's pretty cool. You don't even have to drill apart the car or do anything. You just uh, dunk it in this dye and it changes the color of the car. So I'm not really even sure what color this was originally. This car, I'm pretty sure, was white originally. Yeah. So kind of a neat little thing. So hook me up with those. Um, and then also there's the Matchbox, Son of a Gun. Hook me up with this, Pontiac Firebird Racer, Matchbox. That's pretty cool. Yellow car there. And then um, a couple of Tamikas. These are basically, I think these are pocket cars for a market. Okay, so Porsche 9, uh, 936 Turbo, made in Japan, copyright 1978. So I don't know if these were actually made in 78 or this was actually made in 78, but it is an old one. Um, this one has a plastic base, metal body, um, in pretty good shape for its age. Really cool little car, martini livery. So definitely dig that little Tamika. Then this van. This one's got really good suspension on it. This one, made in Japan, 1977. This one's pretty beat up, but uh, price is right on it. And uh, can't pass up a, a Tamika van. So that is pretty awesome. Chevy Chevrolet Chevy van. There's that. And then this one is really cool. Trans Am. Again, this one's a little beat up too. It's got opening doors. Um, pretty awesome little casting. Let's stick with the bottom here. 1978. Copyright date. Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. Awesome. Would love to get one of these in just mint condition. Um, but this will be a nice little placeholder for now. Pretty cool. This one's got a little suspension too. And then... This one's got a lot of suspension as well. This Porsche. This one has been retouched. It's a 911S 161 scale Tamika 1976 told me this is a plastic base. Um, it's got opening doors. Somebody touched this one up though and tried to paint, painted headlights, painted the license plate, painted the indicators. Did kind of a not great job of it. So that's kind of disappointing, but still kind of a cool little example of this uh, casting. So if I ever found one of these in mint condition, I'd definitely want it. Um, pretty cool car anyway. So there's that. I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. So 22 minutes on the second half, and we looked at a lot of stuff, and we did it very quickly. So anyway, thank you very much for watching another weekly episode. Uh, I might make a separate video here and uh, opening up those Hot Wheels and Matchboxes and kind of taking a look and talking about those. But um, probably going to take a break before I do that. And uh, that's going to be it for this video so again thank you guys very very much for watching had a lot of cool stuff this week let's try to get some sort of shot together here for the thumbnail 
So um, I'm I'm pumped about this week. I I just got so much stuff I didn't really expect to get. So especially this this ultra red from Todd and all of that. And just a just a cool week of some some really cool stuff. All right. So thank you guys very much for watching. Have yourself a great day. Thank you.